Hello everybody, I am here to talk to you guys about editing choice and softwares to use and when to use them. So I mainly do my editing on two main softwares, Movie Maker and Premiere. So I am going to show you the interface on both of those. Usability, so I'm going to explain some of the usability or how easy it is to use. Um, what I would use it for. Why would I use Movie Maker or Premiere or vice versa? And issues I have with each one. So I will get right into that. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what these interfaces look like. So this is Movie Maker. So if you bring it up, Movie Maker is relatively simple to use. So if you go to home, it's relatively simple to use. This is video. These are pictures. I've already sliced up the video. Um, it's got the sound in there. If I press play, is I am just going to talk to you about it. So this is me doing an interview with uh, Mr. Guy Prince and all that stuff. So I've got pictures in there, video in there. Um, I can upload my videos and photos. I can add music, animations and transitions, visual effects, how to edit so I can split this. So let's say I wanted to get rid of this first part here. I can just split it and then delete it. Or I can just go over here and hit set a start point and it's going to get rid of everything before that. So really user friendly. I usually use this for slideshows. So if I'm putting in pictures with music and all that, I usually work with it for that. Premiere is a different beast altogether. So this would be Premiere. Premiere, this is the digital storyboard we did for our um, Masters in Ed Technology at UVic for EDC I-572. So this is one of our assignments. So as you can see, the user interface is not nearly as kind. Um, a lot more technical, a lot more you can do, but a lot less user friendly if you don't know what you're doing. So basically, a Premiere, Premiere is very intimidating, I would say, to some people. Um, so if I zoom this out, so you saw the other ones, well this is what this looks like. So I have my title, story. title storyboard, my legacy title right here. Underneath it I have the voiceover. So Gary Souls did a voiceover for this one, so we put the voiceover in there. And then we've got the, the music in here that's going to go with it the entire time. And if you keep scanning down, so I'll just pull it across, I've got a whole bunch of pictures, i got some video. I've got a whole bunch of stuff going on, so not as easy to use, but way, way more functional. So much more you can do on Premiere than you can do in uh, Movie Maker. One thing Premiere has on it over Movie Maker is that you have multiple um, channels, or I call them channels, for each one. So these are visual, so this is my first visual, second visual, third video, fourth visual, fifth visual. Audio, same, in descending order. So I could have a video with another video on top of it, with a picture on top of it, and I think I have that a little, f so here we go. So I have pictures on top of this. So what happens is when you go here, it's gonna show that, and then it's gonna show all three because I have all three crammed in one. And there we go. So there's so much stuff you can do with Premiere that you cannot do with Movie Maker. So Movie Maker is exceptionally limited. But still a fantastic program if what you're going for is a simple slideshow or some video with some music. So the one problem that Movie Maker has is if you have separate audio. So if you're filming and you have the audio from the camera, which is this right here, so you can see the audio here. And you're also getting audio from a secondary source, so a, a zoom or any kind of outward audio recording system. You can attach it underneath. Matching it is a little tough. So what I'll do is I'll actually bring in his audio right now just to show you. So I'm gonna add music, which is what it is. And then I'm gonna to go to where he is. So let me just get him here. Uh, masters. And then I'm gonna go documentary. And then I'm gonna go guy. Sound. So guy has sound. So I'm gonna pull over guy's sound. I'm going to open it. And what it does is it puts the sound underneath it. The only problem is the sound is not going to be linked with the video. You have to do that very, very carefully. And that can be a bit of a pain. 
Another problem, if I want to add music underneath after I've lined all that up, the only way I figured out how to do it is to render the movie when it's completed, bring it back in, and then add the song. So this, video, this sound will eventually become this sound when you re-render it, if that makes sense. So this is way easier to use if you wanted to slap in a bunch of pictures and throw in some music and it's great. It makes beautiful, beautiful slideshows. If you want to truly edit, this is where you have to be. If you want to get into the nits and nitty gritty and all that kind of stuff, this is where I live. This is my, this is where I go. A lot longer to use, a lot less user friendly but vastly superior in every kind of way when it comes to audio and visual transitions, what you can do, how you can mess with the editing. So I can go in here and I can click on this and I can go into FX controls and I can, ex it's motion and it's opacity and all that kind of stuff. And I can also bring in other effects. So many more things you can do in Premiere. Not something you really wanna be messing with if you're just making slideshows. You can, but you don't need to. So that is a basic difference between them. I'm not gonna show any editing today because that is a different video altogether, but when it comes down to it, Movie Maker, I use it. I use it all the time. If I'm doing a quick slideshow for the school for an assembly or something like that, I just throw all the pictures in a Movie Maker, throw the song in, get it going, fine. If I'm doing something like the documentary, which we'll be uploading soon, way more complicated, using Premiere. So, so hopefully that answers some questions and um, lets you know what is available to you. Not everything has to be done on Premiere. Sometimes fast and dirty is a better way to go than the painstaking Premiere. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.